It's peachy, it's cinnamony, it is peach cobbler cinnamon rolls. Let's get into it. All right, my YouTube fam. So, on the menu again today is going to be some peach cobbler cinnamon rolls. So, here is all the ingredients that you will need. Not a lot of ingredients to this uh, quick and simple uh, treat. It's really not. So, I have uh, my sliced peaches. I have some butter. I got some ground cinnamon, nutmeg. I got some cinnamon sugar, brown sugar hanging out in the back, vanilla, and here is your store brought cinnamon rolls and of course a pan to bake everything in so y'all i will be back to show you the next step all right my youtube fam so this recipe or this recipe idea or whatever you want to call it is going to go really quick it's like if you just have the nice little late night munchies or you just want a nice good warm snack this is the go-to so i'm going to start with my um peach cobbler uh, filling and I am about to bust open these two cans of sliced peaches so I'm just gonna rinse off that lid on both of them okay let's bust this one open hope everyone is doing spectacular today thank you so much for tuning in if you are not subscribed what are you waiting for so I'm going in with the whole can of peaches as well as the juice for the first can and the second can, I'm not going to use all of the juice. I'm going to use half of the juice. So let's dump that a little bit. Okay, let's dump that in. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, to our peaches, we are going to add some vanilla. Okay, I'm going in with a few dashes of that actually like a lot of vanilla so I'm going in with a lot of dashes so there's our vanilla let's go in with some cinnamon y'all know most of everything I do is by eye I'm so sorry nutmeg quick and simple y'all I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of cinnamon sugar that's not open hold up there we go a little bit of cinnamon sugar just a little bit because I think I'm going to garnish the top with that. Uh, also going to go in with some brown sugar. Just going to squeeze that out just like this. Probably about one third cup right there. Okay. And lastly, we are going to go in with some butter 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 baby we got our butter back here all right and i'm just gonna go in with a nice a little bit under a half a stick just like that so now what i'm about to do is get my peach filling over to the stove and i'm just gonna simmer that until the peaches like soften up a little bit and all the uh flavors infuse together meantime we're going to start our we are going to start our um line up our cinnamon rolls meantime in between time so let me open this off of camera because listen when it pop it's gonna startle me and i need to do that off camera i will never get used to opening up biscuits or anything in this kind of container so i need to do this off camera because if i scream i don't want y'all to start tripping on me i'll be back All right, my YouTube family, welcome back. So now, let's line our nice bacon pan with some butter. This is just butter that I slopped in my hand, and we are just going to go all around the edges of the pan and all around the bottom of the pan. Okay. Boom, just like that. Now, 
We got our cinnamon rolls open after a nice hard struggle. A night, it was a beef. It was definitely a fight. Okay, so let's open up these. Okay. And I'm just gonna start lining the, matter of fact, let me get a plate. Cause what I'm gonna do you guys is I'm going to cut, let me move this over, move this right here. So what I'm gonna do is separate these like this, but I'm gonna cut them like that in half. So I'm gonna cut these in half just like this. And I'm just gonna repeat the process until all of my cinnamon rolls are nice and cut. It doesn't matter if they fall apart like this. You kind of want them to be not uniformed and just kind of all over the place like that. It doesn't matter. Just get them into pieces just like that because it's all going to bake together wonderfully. So I'm going to finish chopping these up and then I'll be back to show you guys how I'm going to line the pan. Be back y'all. All right my YouTube fam and lamb. So peep gang. So I have my store brought cinnamon rolls all uh, pulled apart and shred up here in the pan so now we have our nice warm peach cobbler mix right here um, all the flavors have infused together those sweet nice peaches are nice and infused with the sugar so now I'm just gonna start ladling over some peaches and I'm probably gonna I probably could have just used one uh, one can of peaches uh, probably for this recipe but uh we're gonna make it do what it do so nope you know what it's perfect two cans is perfect see that's all i got left all right so let's get those in here now what we are about to do is take this here and we're just gonna gently kind of just infuse the cinnamon rolls with the peaches, right? Okay. Don't make it all neat and pretty. Let's go bake together. Okay. Wait, let me get some peaches under here. Okay. Like that. And I'm also going to go in with some of this peach cobbler juice. Just like that. Okay, a little bit over here. Now, we are going to get this in the oven and bake this on 350 until the cinnamon rolls are done and nice and fluffy. And I will be back to show you guys the finished result. All right, my YouTube fam. So I just wanted to come back before we put on the finished, uh, the finishing uh, touches on our peach cobbler cinnamon rolls I just wanted to show you guys how those cinnamon rolls raise up see they raise up so nice and pretty so when you first putting it in your pan and you like this just look like slop the cinnamon rolls is all sloppy they not go raise they not go cook everything marries together do you see why I mixed up all the peaches with the bread so in every bite you know what I'm saying? Every bite that you take out, you're going to have peaches. You're going to have the cinnamon roll in each bite. So now, um, the only thing left to do is to sprinkle on. You're just using the icing that came with the cinnamon rolls. So what you're going to do is just drizzle that all over your cinnamon rolls and your peach cobbler. I'm also going to sprinkle on some of the reserved um, peach cobbler filling that I have and I'm also going to sprinkle it with some more cinnamon sugar and I'm probably going to dust it with a little bit of powdered sugar so I will be back to show you guys the finished product so guys here is the finished result cinnamon roll peach cobbler or peach cobbler cinnamon rolls however you want to call it delicious flavorful nice little snack get you some vanilla ice cream oh serve it while it's while it's warm 
bombdiggity.com, y'all. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Cannot wait to see you in the next one. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. <laughs>